Jacob is a powerful teacher of the atonement of Jesus Christ. And in the previous couple chapters, which I think we'll talk about in footnotes, he'd been talking about some of the people's sins, mm -hmm. some of the things that they needed to, to repent of. You know, that's part of the role of a prophet is, is to tell people what they need to do better, right? To, to call them out for their bad behavior. But there always has to be another side of that, right? Okay, so here are the things that you're doing wrong, but how do we come back from that? And of course, the answer to that is the atonement of Jesus Christ. And so he, he tells us this in chapter four, verse 11. He says, Wherefore, beloved brethren, be reconciled unto him, to God, through the atonement of Christ, his only begotten Son, and ye may obtain a resurrection according to the power of the resurrection which is in Christ, and be presented as the first fruits of Christ unto God, having faith and obtained a good hope of glory in him before he manifesteth himself in the flesh. So the way that, that we come back to God, we be, we're reconciled to God through the atonement of Jesus Christ.